Hey everybody, it's Warhawk. Welcome to Nerf Talk. And we're finally here. We finally did it. Uh, we are ready to go with the comparison uh, between the Mega Sonic Ice Centurion. I went with this one because it seems to perform better than uh, the Red Centurion I own. And because the SR is newer, that's why I'm using the Sonic Ice. So yes, the comparison between the Sonic Ice Mega Centurion and the Fortnite Heavy SR. We are ready to go after hours of editing and testing. So, uh, what I've done is I've done five uh, shooting tests and then I've narrowed uh, it down to four categor categories that I will uh, talk about myself. So that being the trigger, the grip, the prime and then the overall feel of the blaster so before we get into co the comparison let's check out the blasters themselves So there we go, a brief look at the two blasters. Now before we get into any of my opinions, let's check out the first shooting test. Okay, so there it is, our first accuracy test done, and Centurion takes it. So, 
Possibly that could be because that when holding this blaster, uh, the grip on it is much more comfortable than the actual Fortnite Heavy SR. So, when you look at the grip on the Heavy SR, you can see it's not very big. So holding this blaster, um, you got a lot of weight on the front. So when the grip is smaller and the blaster is heavy on, heavier on the front, um, it makes it harder to actually grip onto the blaster itself. And this little indent, like that little curve there, I don't know if you can see that, hopefully you can, does kind of irritate the fingers a little bit. I'm not saying it's bad, but it's okay. So, when we take a look at the Centurion's grip, yes, it is a little bit small, but it's wider. So having the width in the back actually makes the blaster easier to grip. So in this category for grips, Centurion takes it. Now let's go to accuracy test number two. So there it is, uh, accuracy test number two, the SR takes it. Now I'm wondering perhaps that's because the SR has a very smooth trigger pull. Now the trigger pull on the Centurion 
is kind of uh, long and to quote a favorite YouTuber of mine, um, chunky. So, and um, as you are pulling back on this trigger, you can kind of feel um, the heaviness of it. So, if that makes any sense. Um, and that is my opinion, of course. And on the SR, it is actually shorter and a lot smoother. So it's kind of comparing the triggers to of uh, the Delta Trooper and the Fortnite SPL. So in my opinion, the uh, trigger pull on the Fortnite Heavy SR is a lot smoother and takes it definitely for the trigger pull. So let's get into shooting test number three. So shooting test number three. So 
Centurion takes it for that one. And I noticed when I'm actually taking more of a sniper position, uh, using this blaster, the overall feel to it gives me more of that uh, sniper feel, I guess you can say. So uh, aiming this blaster at a target at a 45 degree angle upwards, the overall feel of it just you know, is easier to kind of zone in on the target where as the heavy SR, the front end on this blaster is very heavy. So overall feel to it, you're, when you're trying to aim up, the front end is always kind of dipping down on you. So overall feel, Centurion takes it. Let's go to accuracy test number four. Accuracy test number four goes to the Fortnite Heavy SR. We have a tie going right now for the accuracy test. Um, the one thing I notice when I'm trying to shoot further distance when these two with these two blasters um, is the priming when, when I'm priming these blasters, uh, keeping aim on the actual targets themselves isn't very easy. And that's probably because of the weight. Now, the two primes on these uh, uh, Mega Sniper Blasters are very, very different. As you can see on the Centurion, it has a very long prime to it. That's the full distance of the prime on the Centurion. And when we go to look at the SRs, 
it is much, much shorter and much, much smoother, meaning it is easier to prime and faster to prime. So by the time that, you know, my uh, eyes are, you know, off the target, it only takes a brief second, right? It doesn't take very long for the blaster to move on you. So if you have a shorter prime, you can fire your dart a lot faster. So if I'm gonna give the winner to the priming on these blasters, it is definitely going to the Fortnite Heavy SR. So that is my overall opinions on the four categories. And we have a tie going right now, everybody. So it is tied 8-8. Eight, eight. So there's only one thing left to do. We need to break the tie and only one way to do it. Let's see who can go the furthest.
And there it is, everybody. The tiebreaker, the distance, the furthest one to fire its dart, the Mega Centurion. Uh, we almost had it go 100 feet. Actually, surprisingly, the last time we uh, tested the uh, Fortnite Heavy SR, uh, we couldn't get it to go 80 feet. And this time we actually did, so that was very cool. But the Centurion just ends up taking it. So now for my final, final thoughts on these two blaster, which one, in my opinion, is the better? Um, I am not going to say I like one better than the other a lot, but if I had to pick, I am definitely going with the Mega Century one. Uh, I just really like the feel of this blaster. It kind of gets you more into the battle feel if you are feeling more like the sniper role. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. But just the, the feel of it, the overall blowback of it, it just, it just gives you that, you know, nerf mega power. So not knocking the SR at all. It is a very nice blaster, but uh, just firing it, it, it's like a mega long shot. If you all know what I'm talking about, that older spring where this thing has that huge plunger and it's it's firing its darts and it's going hard. So um, yes, Mega Centurion in my books would be the better one. So thank you everybody for watching this. I know it was quite a long video, but we did do a lot of work on it. So um, we really appreciate you watching and it was really fun to do it. So uh, once again, make sure to like, comment and subscribe. And as always, keep on nerfing.